Welcome to the Chet TV Newsroom, I'm Trevor McManus, and here are our top stories. Get out your hogs and your chaps, this weekend was all about the first ever Pokerama. If you're going hiking, make sure you're bear aware. And finally, the search is being called off for a man in the Burns Lake area. Starting off in Chetwin now, the first Pokerama in the area took place over this weekend. 64 bikers, including 23 local riders, took part in the full day of fun in the sun. Thanks Trevor, we're at the first ever Chetwin Poker Run. Um, they're going to be riding throughout the Peace region today and uh, they're going to be raising some money for charities of their choice. Let's check out all the action. My name is Doug Fleming and I'm going to ride on the first annual, hopefully annual, Poker Run for the Peace region. We're hoping to get a bunch of riders from Chetwin and a whole bunch of other communities throughout the piece. They pick a card at each location. Um, they ride through, kind of take their time, leisurely see kind of the area, get to the next location, pick another card, keep on going kind of thing. We're just uh, getting together with friends, neighbors, enjoy some of our great peace country scenery. I think uh, both parts, the little raising money for a good cause is great, but it's also uh, getting together with a whole bunch of people sometimes you wouldn't see. Well, this is my first poker run and it raises money for some organization and some some that I've heard about for cancer and stuff like that. So, and that's very dear to my heart. So uh, anything to raise money to help anybody else out is good for me. And I get to ride my bike too. Doug Fleming decided to got a hold of our uh, local uh, Harley Owners Group. I'm the director of that. And uh, we started uh, doing some uh, planning <laughs> and uh, I had uh, forms and stuff that we uh, did for them so they could uh, do up the hands and uh, rules and uh, uh, waiver forms so. and then uh, just went from there we got to hold all the visitor centers and got everybody on board. The ride has been fantastic. Great weather, great riding, not much traffic, lots of bikes. It's been looking really good. Well you get to know everybody that's in the bike field and uh, it's just, uh, just a nice thing to do. You see the country and People are, you know, great around here. Uh, we came from Port St. John through Hudson Hope, and it's been a really nice day. A little bit of wind, but nothing too bad. So basically, it's it's just a way of getting riders out to have, have an enjoyable ride on a sunny day. The stars were the big winners this weekend as the registration costs were donated to them, which was around $300. The four winners were Kyle McDonald, who placed fourth and donated all of his winnings to the Stars. Sherry Young from Fort St. John came in third. Second place went to Clay Bazandowski, and Jamie Bryce was the overall winner after drawing a straight. The conservation team are warning of bears in the Chetwind area. The single bear was spotted atop Mount Baldy over the weekend near the water tower. All hikers are being warned to avoid Baldy Mountain altogether and to be cautious throughout the piece if you're going into the woods. Moving down south now, the RCMP have called off their search for Brett Smith. After an extensive five-day search of the Burns Lake area, the RCMP have officially called off the search. Smith went missing on the 8th of August and has not been heard from since. The police used all resources available to them, including a canine unit, search and rescue teams, an aerial unit, and a side sonar unit. Family and friends of Smith have vowed to continue their search. In sports, the Canadian Summer Games wrapped up this past Saturday in Shearbrook, Quebec, and Ground Birch's own Fiona Benson represented the Peace Region with pride. Benson participated in the women's 5,000 meter Friday night, coming in 12th with a time of 17 minutes and 50 seconds. She also took part in the women's 200 meter stepple chase on Tuesday, finishing 7th with a time of 7 minutes and 3.81 seconds. Incredibly, Benson had never set foot on a track until her first year at Trinity Western University about two years ago. And it, it was a busy weekend in Chetwin. Six teams took part in the first ever King of the Rink tournament inside the Chetwin Rec Center. Well, the tournament was uh, pretty good. It was the 2013 King of the Rink tournament that uh, was put together through Peace FM and uh, various aspects of the community. And the tournament went really well. We had six teams. We had a team from Soto First Nations. We had a couple local teams here. Peace FM uh, even put a team in together as well. And uh, it was just a really, really, really good uh, experience. Uh, great atmosphere. 
uh, great energy. A lot of people really enjoyed it. A lot of good feedback as well too. Last game was just absolutely phenomenal. It was very fast paced. Two teams were uh, Tyler Moore, uh, who came in second, and Soto First Nations. Well, Soto Selects, they call themselves, but that uh, was he headed up by Derek Lalonde. They won uh, the trophy, and they also won $200 in cash prize, which uh, I think surprised them because when we talked about it at Peace FM, we talked about a cash prize not really having a, a number, but when we, they were handed the $200, you can definitely see their faces light up. I'm feeling pretty sore. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was a good opportunity to get out and uh, find out how much uh, exercise I hadn't had for quite a while. And uh, to say, you know what, even though I'm pushing 40, I can still do it with the best of them. So I had a lot of uh, feedback from the players asking me if we were going to do it again next year. And I said, of course we, I, of course we would, especially if uh, people are really interested. I told them to tell their friends, tell them about their experience. And uh, each year it's just going to hopefully get bigger and better. After a long day, the teams were placed in uh, playoff bracket format with the third place winner being Team Grey Eyes. Second place went to Team TM and the Sodu Selects took the top prize. You can catch the gold medal game later this month on Chet TV. You're now up to date in the Peace Region. We'll be right back with a full look at your five-day weather forecast for the Chet TV News. I'm Trevor McManus.